movie producer and director, but he was a young producer on Monster Squad. And the, you know, Lionsgate released that 20th anniversary DVD, Monster Squad blew up, we're headlining conventions, it's this thing, Rob Cohen goes, we're gonna remake this. So he got together with Michael Bay's company, and usually the reaction, and uh, <laughs> the, the one that remakes all the stuff called Platinum Dunes, and they went into development on a Monster Squad uh, reboot. And everybody hated that idea. All the fans, they're like, don't touch our movie. And it went into like development hell for two, three years, and then uh, Universal Studios announced the Dark Universe. They're gonna do their classic monsters, <coughs> Avenger style, they're gonna do one off, they're gonna put them together and have a whole thing. And Platinum Dune said, well, if Universal's doing the Dark Universe, uh, then we're not remaking Monster Squad, there's no point. All the fans cheered, and then the Dark Universe died. <laughs> so uh, everything died. And, um, but I think that's a good thing on both paths. So that was the last thing that got semi close to happening. Uh, but it's one always been a rights issue, and then it's always been if Fred and Shane were interested in doing anything, if whoever had the rights that were going to do something wanted them involved. And I don't think we would want to do something that wasn't Fred or Shane if it ever happened. Uh, but it was always a rights issue. And we learned more about that in making the documentary with rights and Paramount and who actually owns it and who doesn't. Um, but you know, that changes after 35 years. So there may be some movement on something. I, I, I don't think a re our thoughts are the same thing as most of y'all's and even Fred and Shane's. Remaking the Monster Squad or rebooting it, we've seen it a few times. It's it, it's Stranger Things, it's all these other things with a group of kids that have gone way back. It's summer of 84, it's you know, things like that that all these people have kind of lifted notes from or paid homage to. You don't need to remake now a sequel's a different story. We think a sequel's fun, or like a continuing story where we are... Uh, and surprise, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Monster Squad 2! <laughs> <laughs> World premiere in six dollars, that's ridiculous. Let's reenact it. Just want to reenact the whole thing. But I'm out of here. We're in the damn Come on, remember these nice men in the white jackets who want to talk to you. It's tired. I need to take a nap first. Did you take your pill? <laughs> 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 but look, I mean, I think there's a lot of cool stories that you could do, you know, with you know an expanded kind of idea or characters. Um, we always sit around and goof and talk about it. Um, I, there is a really cool sequel concept on someone's laptop, uh, <laughs> and, uh, which we, you know, would goof and develop, you know, just pick at ideas, you know, year, you know, over the years. Uh, whether they do something or not, it's up to um, whoever has the rights and if they think they should. Uh, I, Fred and Shane have been in meetings at giant places that rhyme with, you know, Netflix, and um, <laughs> for things like that. And what's really funny is just real quick, and I know you won't. Uh, the Netflix executives were like, "Okay, so we want you to make, we want to do Monster Squad, but we want to do it as a show, and I think it's about kids that run into either some sort of supernatural power and they have to defeat it, and uh, you know, sort of along the lines of Stranger Things." And Fred looks at the Netflix guys and goes, "You want me to make a show?" about a show that ripped off my movie? <laughs> I think we've already seen it. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's, uh, but I think there's some ideas to do. I think if it's updated, I think if it's a passing of the tour, it's gotta be about about four kids, you know, four of the kids in there. Right? So, Ryan Lambert as Steve's dad on Netflix, start the campaign. Yeah, but we, yeah, so hey, season five of Stranger Things is getting us. So everybody like, you know, Tag all the Stranger Things writers so you know we can be in season five. It's gonna be a no brainer. Uh, that's Dibby, Dibby Gorgon, that. <laughs> you had multiples in the one stage? That was a good one. I kind of covered it. Okay, good, good. I was just asking if you guys had interest in like rehashing the role again as parents, really, basically. Like in a show where parents. Why do we have to have kids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, I'm, I 
can still take care of his job. I don't even know. <laughs> I can still do this. No, I, I think I, I think in the in the right hands in the right story context, uh, I think we certainly would. So, I don't know if anybody wants to see us old bugs on camera in that character again, but who knows? Maybe someone out there might. You guys might. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. But yes, probably. Was it? So we're going to do. How do we have this up? I just want to make sure that I tell them correctly. Adam, we're going to. We sit here. We're, we're going to sit up here. We're going to line it. We've got the poster. We've got. Oh, did I just give away this? No. No. Do they know this? Do they know this? Spoiler. Do what? What happened? Okay. Susan Yeager, everybody, another round of applause. Before we move on, I've got a list of things I'm supposed to read for all Susan's sponsors. Yes, correct is important. Uh, we want to thank the Tom Lynch Company, the Meadows Family, WVU Athletics, Marshall University, and West Virginia Tourism for their donations. Uh, thank the City of St. Albans and Mayor Scott James for the support of Alvin and events like this one. Thank you to uh, my staff, everybody that's around yes, here, yes. Uh, and our volunteers. Thank you to Andre and Ryan for coming to West Virginia and hanging out with us. And thank you all for coming and tuning in online. Uh, thank you all for all coming out tonight. Have a, have a great, have a great night. Awesome. Thank you, guys. So, uh, so uh, there's a rant here. So Ryan and I are going to be on stage. Yes, you got and we're gonna we can kind of file through it. Every we're gonna get the poster sign, we can sign the stuff, and we'll take photos. Uh, so if you need to pee, go pee. Uh, and then we'll start that here in just a minute, right? Yes. Sound good to you? Yes. So go to you. We're, we're probably gonna start uh, start over there, coming up the ramp, and we'll go down. Yeah, here's kind of head out. And once you're done, uh, just once you meet the guys and get stuff signed, uh, we just ask you. Keep on filing out the other way. Uh -oh. Before we get to bigger, all night long. Now yeah. that we have, hey, thanks again for everybody coming out. You know, we'll talk to you in a minute. Uh, great to see you on this anniversary.